Hey yo, what's going on, buddy? It's Tyler, it's aka Ty Killington. Oh my god. Got a good one for you today. Okay, listen, this is a true 100% solo money grind method that is going to give you over $600,000 per hour. All right, it's been grinding this out, making sure this is right, getting this to work. I'm about to show you right here, right now. Let's get right into it. So first things first, let's get into a solo public lobby, okay? This is to be a true solo method. This is what you got to do. It's so basically go to options, go to find new session. And after a few tries, it'll put you into a solo public lobby, or you can do the MTU glitch. First things first, I want you to go into your, so your bunker inside the solo public lobby and buy one round of supplies for 75 grand. Okay, we'll come back to this a little bit later. All right. After that, next thing I want you guys to do, you can either get a cargo bob if you have one. If not, no big deal. I'll show you how to do that as well. Uh, but grab you a cargo bob and go to your import export warehouse. Okay. And once we're at the import export warehouse, we're going to immediately get into the money. And that will start the countdown, the timer on this method, this process. All right. So we're pulling up right now. Over here at my um, now there, there'll be different import export warehouses. You need to find out, you know, how, how where you can land your chopper, how you want to do this. It's up to you how you do this. But if as long as you follow this method, this process, uh, you will be making some serious cash. It is very easy. No, uh, no AF Kang, no business battles. 100% solo, no problems whatsoever. It's very very easy. Okay, I'm very glad to bring this method to you. And uh, so you guys can all make some good money on this without being griefed or, or bothered. All right. So you go in here, go into your office, and get ready to sell a top-range car. To sell a top-range car and to source top-range cars, more importantly, you need to have at least 10 mid-range and 10 standard cars in your garage. This is something, uh, this is a method I came up with over a year ago, okay? Uh, and you can find how, how to do that. It's very easy. You just basically source until you get uh, 10 mid-range 10 standard and then the only thing you will source after that will be top range all right and sell off all your duplicates that way you won't keep getting duplicates no big deal so our export our vehicle we're going to use the cargo bob i will also show you how to do this without the cargo bob if you don't have one or if you're not good with it and it won't really affect your time too much and we'll account for that later okay so as you see we have a 15 minute timer to get this delivered I'm going to go ahead and hook up to this uh, Z-Type right here with the uh, hook from the cargo bob. And we're going to take it to the drop-off and make our money. This method right here, it is a little bit tricky, but once you get the hang of it, it'll practically guarantee that you will make full take on your import-export sale car every single time. It's an $80,000 profit. If you can't use a cargo bob, just drive your sale vehicle a block or two away from your warehouse. And then as soon as the bad guys start coming after you, take them out with your explosive rounds or RPGs. After you make your import-export sale, go into your terabyte, go to your client jobs. And what you want to do is robbery in progress. There's a couple of client jobs I want you guys to focus on, and I'll talk about that. This is very simple, very easy. Okay, you find out where the robbery is taking place by looking through the CCTV cameras. Uh, and then you, all you have to do is really, you can, a couple of different ways. You can, uh, take your chopper to the location, call in your Karuma or just drive your Karuma there. It won't be that much difference in time. And with your, while you're inside your Karuma, you're pretty much impervious to the NPCs. You can take out the, uh, juggernaut right there. He'll pretty much kill the cops. Park your Karuma right by the door with the driver's side facing the exit. So you can immediately get into your car without being killed by the cops outside. Mark out whoever's in here. It's very easy. It's only maybe one or two guys, uh, and you get the gold. All right? Kill him, finish him off. Uh, we've been in this bank before. We know what it's all about. So you get the gold. You have your car right there. Uh, you know, go to your chopper. If you have one available, your buzzard. Call Lesher to get the cops off of you, or you can drive out there. As you see right here, this mission took just over five minutes, and I messed up while I did it. That's why it took some extra time. So uh, no big deal. Bam. Easy money right there. 31500 After that, I want you to go and do a VIP mission. Now, you can do either Sightseer or Headhunter, whichever one you, you feel comfortable with doing, okay? You can mix them up if you want to. It's fine. We're not going for a, you know, a wave method with this. So I'm doing Sightseer just to show you. And Sightseer took four minutes to complete. And you made 
22,000 right there, all right? Not bad, not bad at all. So once again, just to show you on the other end of it, you, if you wanted to do Headhunter, if you're more comfortable with that, that's fine. Uh, I did a Headhunter as well, just to show you the, the similarity in the time, okay? I don't want people arguing which one's better. They're very, very similar. Do whatever you feel comfortable with. I did Headhunter in roughly three minutes and made over 20 grand right there, okay? Now, once you do that, okay, you want to jump back into your terabyte and you want to do another client mission, okay? So you go back up to client jobs and now let's do diamond shopping, okay? Now, this is very important. I've seen a lot of YouTubers make this mistake. You do not need to use the terabyte, all right? Start the mission up, go into your cab. All you want to do is just get the waypoint. Now, me, I... I knew where this is. It's the same spot every time. So you get a couple blocks to it, get it pretty close to it, not too close, or the mission won't work. Uh, you get the spawn point, and then you get out of the cab, and then you get into your Karuma, or you can fly your buzzard to this location. All right, both of this, the times will be very similar. So we drive to the location. Once again, we're inside of our Karuma. Mark out all the bad guys. The the uh, police and the security will come outside the bank. You just kill them, right? And then once again, you position your vehicle uh, by the door with your driver's side door right there pretty close to it. So you can get back in for cover. Kill the guard inside. Take the diamonds. Get back into your Karuma. Call Lester. Get the cops off you. Get your buzzard and get inside the buzzard and immediately draw or fly to the destination to make your money. All right. Very simple. Very easy. This is very, very quick. Uh, it, now listen, it may not be that fast for you your first time your second time doing this method but i promise you'll get the hang of it even i was making some mistakes on this but still the time uh to money ratio held true all right i called lester got my buzzard and i flew off to the location very simple very easy. it's the same location on this mission every single time i like these two missions with the client jobs because it allows you to use the karuma you don't have to use the terabyte and it's the best time to money ratio as you see right here, I'm just over three minutes, 31,000. Bam, I mean, come on. All right, so once you do that terabyte mission, you start up another, either a headhunter or sightseer, whichever one you feel comfortable with, okay? We get that locked up, and this, this whole method is designed to take place within 20 minutes. That's why we sell the car first, because it starts that 20-minute cooldown time, okay? So as you see right here, just over four minutes again, 22,000. All right, now I'm going to also show you what Headhunter looks like. Once again, you can do these in very, very similar time. It's just whatever you feel comfortable with. The NPCs are much more aggressive with Headhunter, so you do have to be a little bit more skilled with that. But as you see right here, three minutes, 20500 So we are rolling. We're making some good money. At the end of that cycle, that's when you go and source an import-export vehicle. You have to repay yourself that, okay? During this whole time, We've had our bunker cooking and our nightclub. Now, the nightclub is a bonus, but the bunker is important in this, okay? Let's do the math. Let's run the numbers. So, we did import-export, 80,000. Terabyte job client mission, 31,000. A headhunter or sightseer, whichever one you want to, averages out to 21,000. We did a terabyte again, 31,000. A headhunter or sightseer, once again, whatever you want to do, averages to 21,000. Then at the end of this little cycle right here, you source that car to repay yourself from the import-export. All this is done within a 20-minute time frame. This is 184,000 per 20 minutes. You see the numbers right there. Multiply that by three, it's 552,000 per hour. Don't forget our bunker though. The bunker takes two hours and 20 minutes to cook 135,000 net profit. You pay 75 grand, you sell into Los Santos for 210,000, so you subtract the 75 from the 210, and it's a net profit of 135 grand. Very easy to make a sale in a solo public lobby, obviously. So you take 135 and you divide that by 2.3. That is the equivalent to two hours and 20 minutes. That gives you 58,000 per hour. The nightclub in that same time frame will give you roughly 125,000. Divide that out by 2.3, you're making 54000 per hour. That's your bonus right there, and that requires you to have the top five businesses cooking with your nightclub. So what this means is that 
you have 552,000 from the main method plus your 58,000 from your bunker plus the 54,000 from your nightclub equals a whopping 664,000 per hour. Now let's accumulate and account for mess ups, this and that. Maybe you don't have everything maxed out, whatever. You're in between 600 and 650,000 per hour, 100% solo. No need to AFK, no worrying about business battle stuff. If you want to do that, that will just add on to your money at this method right here. 100% solo. Easy, very, very easy, simple method. And there is the good thing about this, it is a rhythm. There is a process. It's not just random headhunters and sightseers and job client, this and that and the other. And I've showed you the best and easiest ways to complete the, the uh, job client missions uh, with minimal damage to yourself. Uh, it's very easy. This is a very quick process. And this is good money, right? If you have a solid grind session, I mean, you can make $6 million in a day if you are just a complete, you know, grind hog and you're killing it. Uh, but at the very least, 600 grand per hour with this method right here. Nothing wrong with that at all. Uh, you know what I mean? If you don't, you know, use the bunker, if you don't have the nightclub, you are still making a record-breaking 550,000 per hour. And this is very, very easy to do. Okay, guys? Now, just like any method, if it's new to you, it'll take a little bit of time to get used to it. But once you get rolling with it, you will be making some serious cash, right? Uh, if you guys have any questions at all, let me know in the comments down below. Make sure you subscribe to my channel for the Illust and Reels content in the game. And definitely, guys, if this helps out, if you enjoyed this video, drop a like on this, okay? Show your support. Spread the word. You guys know what to do. Stay dangerous. We'll see you in the next one. Peace. Out.